Chapter 8 And the word of the Lord of hosts came, saying, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, I am jealous for Zion with a great jealousy, and I am jealous for her with great fury. Thus saith the Lord, I return unto Zion, and will dwell in the midst of Jerusalem, and Jerusalem shall be called the city of truth, and the mountain of the Lord of hosts, the holy mountain. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, There shall yet old men and old women sit in the broad places of Jerusalem, every man with his staff in his hand for very age. And the broad places of the city shall be full of boys and girls playing in the broad places thereof. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, If it be marvelous in the eyes of the remnant of this people in those days, should it also be marvelous in mine eyes, saith the Lord of hosts. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will save my people from the east country and from the west country, and I will bring them, and they shall dwell in the midst of Jerusalem, and they shall be my people, and I will be their God in truth and in righteousness. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Let your hands be strong, you that hear in these days these words from the mouth of the prophets that were in the day that the foundation of the house of the Lord of hosts was laid, even the temple that it might be built. For before those days... There was no hire for a man, nor any hire for beast, neither was there any peace to him that went out or came in because of the adversary, for I set all men, every one against his neighbor. But now I will not be unto the remnant of this people as in the former days, saith the Lord of hosts. For as the seed of peace the vine shall give her fruit, and the ground shall give her increase, and the heavens shall give their due, and I will cause the remnant of this people to inherit all these things. And it shall come to pass, that as you were a curse among the nations, O house of Judah and house of Israel, so will I save you, and you shall be a blessing. Fear not, but let your hands be strong. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, As I purpose to do evil unto you, when your fathers provoked me, saith the Lord of hosts, I repented not. So again to I purpose in these days to do good unto Jerusalem and to the house of Judah, Fear you not, these are the things that you shall do. Speak you every man the truth with his neighbor. Execute the judgment of truth and peace in your gates. And let none of you devise evil in your hearts against his neighbor. And love no false oath for all these things that I hate, saith the Lord. And the word of the Lord of hosts came unto me, saying, Thus saith the Lord of hosts. The fast of the fourth month, and the fast of the fifth, and the fast of the seventh, and the fast of the tenth, shall be to the house of Judah joy and gladness, cheerful seasons. Therefore love you truth and peace. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, It shall yet come to pass, that there shall come peoples and inhabitants of many cities, and the inhabitant of one city shall go to another, saying, Let us go speedily to entreat the favor of the Lord, and to seek the Lord of hosts. I will go also. Yes, many peoples and mighty nations shall come to seek the Lord of hosts in Jerusalem and to entreat the favor of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, In those days it shall come to pass that ten men shall take hold out of all the languages of the nations, shall even take hold of the skirt of him that is a Jew, saying, We will go with you, for we have heard that God is with you. All right, let's go back up, verse 1. Now, we will call to remember just the last chapter. Uh, we had these ones, uh, Beth, Bethel, Therizar, and Vagam Malek, and all their men come from these nations that were around, and they came speaking to the priest, wanting to know if they should keep on doing what they'd been doing They since they'd been doing these things, since they were put there. These many years, we'll find out that, that Israel or Judah had been in captivity. We'll find out they this would not be, they shouldn't have even been kept in the festivals of the Lord. And they, they didn't know what they was doing, but God used this as a comparison to show that there, there was things going on in the land when uh, the people entered into the promised land. There was things going on that was part of other, other things. God commanded these things even uh, in the beginning uh, we will find when we get there the, these things that uh, God set in order to 
to complete all things. And this is really was the higher understanding of it all. Because it was all the work of God even from the beginning. God did create all things. But we'll find out in the end what well, God was showing that he was the one who had scattered Israel or scattered the Jews. That's those of you and those that, that remnant that was left over into all the nations. And the, he had made the land desolate. And during that period of time, even though these ones had come in to inhabit this land, God said the land was desolate. Yeah, we're going to pick it up here in verse 1, uh, uh, and we'll find out uh, God was making a new beginning. Eight, This chapter 8 is a new beginning, and we'll find out it, 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 there is a new beginning. Verse 1, And the word of the Lord of hosts came, saying, and this would be the words that we'll find out. The prophets, they write these words down they, that they can last, that we can use them too. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, I am jealous for Zion with great jealousy, and I am jealous for her with great fury. I am jealous for Zion, for that parched place, even that place that I set as a, 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 a post, a marker, even with a great jealousy, uh, and jealous with a great fury. And this is a great anger because... God did that. It was the work of God, and we'll find in the end that the this work of God has gone not got its proper recognition. Three, thus saith the Lord, I return unto Zion, and will dwell in the midst of Jerusalem, and Jerusalem shall be called the city of truth, and the mountain of the Lord of hosts, that holy mountain, and that's what it shall be called that holy mountain, that hallowed mountain, that mountain that's set aside, it belongs to God. No one else can tread on it. Yeah, this Zion, Zion is that parched place. Zion is a portion of the city within Jerusalem, that place of peaceful teachings. And, and Jerusalem itself shall be called this city of truth, this the city of peaceful teachings, because from the beginning that's where God had set the law. Yeah, we'll find out. For, thus saith the Lord of hosts, there shall yet old men and old women sit in the broad places of Jerusalem, every man with his staff in his hand for very age. And this is yet to happen. These, we'll find out. There's these old, these these that are aged, uh, they shall sit in these broad places. And these, these are those places that are made wide in Jerusalem. We'll find out they've expanded because God had intended to increase his flock even from the beginning, every man shall have his staff in his hand for his very age. Because he leans on it. That staff, that staff's the rule, that, that which supports you. It's the law of God, that which you've taken up, and you use it. And this shall bring you your very age, even to that old age. That place where we have that support in our hand. Five. And the broad places of the city shall be full of boys and girls playing in the broad places thereof. And these children, these boys and girls, these are the children, and they are playing in the broad places thereof. That's that place God made wide in him, the place where God is increasing. Six, thus saith the Lord of hosts, If it be marvelous in the eyes of the remnant of, the, of this people in those days, should it also be marvelous in mine eyes, saith the Lord of hosts, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, and if it be marvelous, if it be wonderful, it be acceptable in the under, in these perceptions of this remnant, those that remain of this people in those days, of this people, even those that have returned from this captivity, those of the captivity, and we'll find out the prophets that were speaking in those days, even in those understandings, those that are returning from the exile should be also marvelous in mine eyes, and it will be marvelous in mine eyes, even in these perceptions, wonderful in these things that we see, saith the Lord of hosts. 7. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will save my people from the east country and from the west country. Once again, saving my people. These that 
obey, or these that observe the understanding of God, these that that return, these that are coming back from the east country, and that's that that way toward enlightenment, that that way toward enlightenment, and that land thereof, and the understanding that comes from there, and from the west country, that that where the sun goes down, that's the toward the way, even that place of darkness. Eight. And I will bring them, and they shall dwell in the midst of Jerusalem, and they shall be my people, and I will be their God in, tr in truth and in righteousness. And I will bring them, and they shall, they shall dwell in the midst within the city of peaceful teachings, and they shall be my people, and I will be their God in truth and righteousness. And that's in this truth. Truth and righteousness, that is the, that is knowledge, that is wisdom, and justice. See, that, that's the law of God, that's the observance of it, the understanding that comes with it, and the justice that comes from it. Nine, thus saith the Lord of hosts, let your hands be strong, you that hear in these days these words from the mouth of the prophets that were in the, in the day that the foundation of the house of the Lord of hosts was laid even the temple, that it might be built. Thus say the Lord of hosts, Let your hands be strong, let your works be strong, strengthened even, you that hear, or you that listen, in these days. Those days, those that's those cycles that was going on, those periods of understanding, those periods of darkness, these, these teachings actually coming forth, these words from the mouth of the prophets, and these words is that's what's poured out from the mouth. That is that place where it's poured out from the prophets. That's those those speakers, the ones that God appointed. See, that's the ones that God appointed. They had it written down. And they were in the day and even in the understanding that the foundation of the house of the Lord of hosts was laid. It had already been determined, we'll find out, and that foundation is the law and it always is the law that that's what holds it all up even the temple that that's the place where god put his holy name and it was done so that it might be built ten for before these those days there was no hire for man there was no hire for man nor any hire for beast, neither was there any peace to him that went out or came in because of the adversary, for I said all men, every one against his neighbor. I said every one against his neighbor. Who did? God did. Before those days, there was no hire. There was no wages. There was no reward for your work. There was nothing given. Nor any hire for the beast, those that bared the burden, those that carried the load. There was no reward, there was no wages then for them because of this adversary, because of the adversary, because of the distress. We'll find out the distress, the contention. God caused it even from the beginning, 11. But now I will not be unto the remnant of this people in the, as in the former days, saith the Lord of hosts. I will not be. It's, this is going. There's a difference here, see. As it was before, we'll find out. When your fathers didn't listen, there was a judgment and the uh, purposing of judgment. But it won't be like that, not as in the former days or these former understandings, saith the Lord of hosts. 12. For as the seed of peace, the vine shall give her fruit, and the ground shall give her increase, and the heavens shall give their due. And I will cause the remnant of this people to inherit all these things but for as the seed of peace it's it's not going to be as it was a judgment it's going to be as for the a seed of peace to to prosper to give rest even this vine shall give her fruit and that vine even that which was planted in the beginning to bring forth the fruit the fruit is the understanding that comes from it and the ground shall give her increase and this even the ground that's the earth where it's planted and this that all things of it all things of it the flesh even 
and the heavens shall give their due. And the heavens shall give their due. This slow distillation of the rain that comes from God. And I will cause this remnant of the people to inherit all these things. And, and that's that promise that God gave that, uh, of a new beginning. Uh, of of a new beginning. God has the ability to make these new beginnings. He's going to cause the remnant. That's those that are left over. This remnant. That which remains of this people to inherit. They shall receive. See, and that, that's that which is passed down or given to. 13. And it shall come to pass that as you were a curse among the nations, O house of Judah and house of Israel, so will I save you, and you shall be a blessing. Fear not, but let your hands be strong. And it shall come to pass, it will come to pass, as you were a curse among the nations, as you were before looked upon as a curse, O house of Judah, house of Israel. These were those that, that were called by name. Judah's those are praising Israel, those that have contended with the Mighty One. They have contended with him. So will I save you, and you shall be a blessing. God's going to save you. See, there's salvation from God. Why? Well, that's where all salvation comes from, God. And you shall be a blessing. And fear not, but let your works be strong, and your works should be in the law. Your works, these things which we do, we observe, and that would be the work Fourteen. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, As I purpose to do evil unto you, when your fathers provoked me, saith the Lord of hosts, and I repented not, for as a purpose to do evil, as it was before, when your fathers provoked me, that was those that, that generation before, they, that they didn't listen this example God made those and we'll find out they didn't listen they turned from God and they wasn't observant to the law of God and God had purpose to do evil his purpose was judgment judgment he that was that period he looked away for a moment and he looked to judgment and he purposed to do it and he repented not 15 so again do I purpose in these days to do good unto Jerusalem and to the house of Judah. Fear ye not. So again, so again, do I purpose in these days to do good unto Jerusalem and to the house of Judah. And this purposing, this proposing, or this, and it's what it is, is God's changing his purposes. See, he's going to propose to do a new work, propose to do a, a great work. Even in these understandings we'll find these days. These are the cycles, these periods that make up a year. These And what it is is just we witness as what's happened. We can see these things, what's happened. We God has done gone before us. God has done gone before us doing these things, and we can only see that which is left behind him. See, these are the understandings. God's going to propose to do in Jerusalem these, that place of peace for teachings in that house of Judah where that's where God put his name. 16. These are the things that you shall do. Speak you every man the truth with his neighbor. Execute the judgment of truth and peace in your gates. These are the things that you shall do and, and this is what can be done. You can speak you every man the truth with his neighbor. That's the truth. And here the truth is the law. See, that's what you was given for your understanding and your knowledge and your wisdom. It was the law. And, the, and really, to stay within the law is what you have to work with. The, and this is to execute the judgment of truth. The judgment of truth, the rule of it, the justice that comes from it the that there might be peace is that which cometh from the law that is the reward of it it is the reward of it from we see that is left from god going before and this should be in your places of judgments that's that's your gates that's the, are these places that you establish for the judgment or 
to the teaching of the ordinances of God, to, to make known the understanding of God, because to to not understand God's law is that which causes the disobedience. Those that understand God's law are bound to keep it. 17, and let none of you devise evil in your hearts against his neighbor, and love no false oath, for all these are the things that I hate, saith the Lord. And let none of you devise evil. Consider that. I mean, thinking up these plans, these cons, these shows, devising evil in your hearts and your understandings, considering these things, whatever can bring you gold, silver, these things that belong to God. See, that's God's. It doesn't belong to you. And you devise all these evils against your neighbor, teaching all this. So it's, it's, and love no false oath. Love no false oath. Love no false oath. Don't cling to these lies. And that's what a false oath is. It's a, it's a lie. It's, it's a bloated up, filled full of air, make up, and it's adorned, made beautiful. It's comes from that same image we could perceive that to be these things that the Lord hates saith the Lord and that and that's to create these things like that 18 and the word of the Lord of hosts came to me saying 19 thus saith the Lord of hosts the fast of the fourth month and the fast of the fifth and the fast of the seventh and the fast of the tenth shall be to the house of you to joy and gladness and cheerful seasons Therefore, love you truth and peace. And these fasts, a fast is to deny thyself substance. It's to deny thyself that which goeth in, that nourishes. And see, and this would be that fast of the fourth month. The four, four is always the work of God. Fourth is a portion. Even this, to deny thyself the substance that comes from this portion of the work of God. In that lesser light, we'll find out it was a lesser light that God had given to rule over the darkness, and it's it's going to be that judgment of it, and the fast of the fifth, and that's to deny thyself the portion of of that. That would be the grace. Five is grace. Deny yourself a portion of that grace. See, we're going to find out that that was a portion of grace God gave to rule over the darkness. That lesser light. And the fast of the seven, deny thyself the substance that comes from that which accomplishes. See, that, that's that which accomplishes the work of God. Even that lesser light. And the fast, and deny thyself the, the substance that comes from that portion of the law. See, the tenth. The ten is the law, and it always is the law. And the tenth is the portion that comes from it. That's the judgment. See, to deny thyself the judgment, to keep the law, shall be to the house of Eden joy and gladness, cheerful seasons. It shall be great celebrations even then. Therefore, love you the truth and peace. And we're going to find out the truth and peace. Uh, this was the covenant that was made even in the beginning. See, and we can represent that by one word, and that word would be shalom. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, it shall yet come to pass that there shall come peoples and the inhabitants of many cities. It shall yet come to pass, see, that there shall come peoples and inhabitants of these many cities. And these are the places that have a guard. These are the places that have fortification or they have a watchman, 21. And the inhabitants of one city shall go to another saying, Let us go speedily to entreat the favor of the Lord and to seek the Lord of hosts. I will go also, and the inhabitants, those that dwell, these that are dwelling in one city, and that one city, uh, one city is even in the beginning, this city, we'll find out, this city represents, this city has a representation of that place that they're going to leave, they're going to go from this city to another in this city we're going to find out is Jerusalem. It's that place of peaceful teachings in the beginning. 
They shall say, Let us go speedily to entreat the favor of the Lord and to seek the Lord of hosts. Let us go seek the Lord of hosts. Let's go to entreat the favor, to entreat the favor, to find his mercy. And I will go also, 22. Yes, many peoples and mighty nations shall go to seek the Lord of hosts in Jerusalem and to entreat the favor of the Lord. Many peoples, yes, many peoples and mighty nations, mighty nations, these great nations. Nation is a place that has probably a ruler that God set up there. Even in the beginning, God set all these rulers in places. God, he is the ruler. He's the ruler of rulers. He's king of kings. He's lord of lords. He's the God who made all the other not of gods for all the other nations to worship. They shall come and seek the Lord of hosts in Jerusalem. That's where they're all headed, that place of peaceful teachings, and to entreat the favor of the Lord or to look for his mercy to find his favor, to find his pity, to seek these things that he give us. And even in the beginning, that's the law. It's the law. It's that which is going to bring peace. It's just going to bring order. It is. 23. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, in those days it shall come to pass that ten men shall take hold out of the languages of the nations, shall even take hold of the skirt of him that is a Jew, saying, We will go with you, for we have heard that God is with you. In those days, in those understandings, see, that's the understandings where you're seeking the favor of God, seeking the mercy of God through the law which he gave you in the beginning. That was the way. That's the way to come. See, if we look between, we'll find out these two tablets are just door. It's two doors, see. Those are the doors. It shall come to pass that ten men shall take hold. And these ten men, they represent the law. Ten is always the law. See, and they're going to represent it out of all languages. Out of all languages and of the nations. All these places where God scattered Israel. They shall even take hold of the skirt of him that is a Jew. Take hold of the skirt. A skirt is a the outer portion of a garment that is worn, see, and these, that, that him that is a Jew. A Jew is one of Judah. That's one of that, of Judah. And then we'll find out in Judah is where Jerusalem was. And Judah is that, those are praisings and that place of peaceful teachings. They shall grab this portion of the outer garment, see, and that garment is that which is covering him. And we'll find out that's the law. That's the law God even gave in the beginning. And they will say, we will go with you, for we have heard that God is with you. And that's what they'll say. We're going to go with you, because we've heard that, that God is with you. And God is with you. Let's move forward to chapter 9. Turn and return. <laughs> 